why I started making this YouTube channel. I'm pro this is gonna be like the channel trailer. I'm probably gonna make another one because <laughs> my ideas will be more reformed, but this is like a, a, probably a brief synopsis. I don't know how long this video is because I usually do it in one take, but I started making this YouTube channel, I think with the intention to make money, but I've sort of grown out of that. Well, I haven't made any money because I don't have like a thousand subscribers or 4,000 watch hours just yet. But I'm here to document my journey on self-improvement. I'm here to document myself. I wanted to show my audience my most authentic self, who Denzel is. And I want to have it sound like I'm talking to one of my friends. That the viewer that is listening or watching the screen, watching <laughs> to the camera that I'm talking to, I hope they're listening at least to have new perspective or new ideas, like something that I have learned or something I've experienced and share it, whether it be ideas or practical lessons. Because with the goal of self-improvement, it's to strive towards, not the ideation, it's the, our most, not perfect self, how would I put the word? our most ideal self. So yeah, probably ideation, but like the best version of ourselves. There's other reasons why we're on self-improvement. I know particularly, like, <laughs> I think there was a time where I was weak and then <laughs> there's another reason, but I'll probably have to talk about it <laughs> in another video when I'm more comfortable about it. Again, I want to be my most authentic self, but there's some things where I can't talk because, uh, or maybe I should talk about it. Actually, I will. <laughs> Never mind. It's actually to be better than my father. Like, as much as I love my father, <laughs> there's places where he falls short. And then, more, and looking and watching, like, observing, some part of me is afraid that I do become him. So, for a way <laughs> for that to not happen, I strive to be on this journey. I'll probably have to explore that in another video idea, but that's the brief synopsis. Now, Hamza's video about how to make 10K per month with this one business model. This is the business model. It's becoming a synthesizer. That's why I'm here making YouTube videos about three days a week. I want to actually amp it up because Another reason why I like doing this YouTube channel thing is I do enjoy watching my own videos. Like, it, it's weird. It's weird watching your own videos because that's you. You're watching a video of yourself. But some part of me actually does enjoy listening back on the ideas that I had in that very moment. And also, I particularly like listening to my own voice, which sounds bad. But, like, I want to get better at public speaking. And one of those ways is to the camera. And also I want to be a salesman. And then I've been told that talking to the camera will particularly help with talking to clients or talking to potential prospects, especially with cold calling. Because <laughs> also storytelling, I'm, I'm, I haven't been the best storyteller, but I hope as I keep on making these videos, I get better at storytelling, better at eye contact, and better at setting up the orientation, the, the build up of the plot and then a resolution. And these videos are a way for me to help at that skill because the most effective way to communicate as humans is through storytelling and by telling my story on self-improvement, whether it's learning a principle, applying it to my own life and then telling the results I've got, got, gotten from it and sharing it to my viewers. I hope that's value I can provide to you. Cause there's, there's self-improvement YouTubers that I like, not what's the word, I, I watch. Cause I particularly like their cause. They want to help other young men. So it's like, why not myself? Why not share it, contribute to that impact? Cause particularly as well, I think self-improvement is a counterculture to, well, the sort of culture that we're experiencing right now where we're embracing weakness, which again, I'll probably have to make another video because weakness and vulnerability, there's strength and vulnerability, but it's not the same as weakness. Because I think weakness is choosing to be weak and vulnerability, actually, how do I put it? Nah, I'll do it, I'll do it in the other video, and then in another video. But the reason why I'm 
in this YouTube channel is to document. Also garnering an audience that can, I can call my own where I can be proud to mention my YouTube channel. Like if I had like a Minecraft or gaming YouTube channel, like that would be the sort of channel I wouldn't want to tell other people. But if this channel is helping other people by exploring ideas and giving them practical tips, it's a noble cause. And it's sort of the YouTube channel I can be proud to actually say I own, that I do, that I do record daily videos. <laughs> because I don't want to take value. That's later. That's later in the YouTube channel's growth. I want to give. Because currently on this path of self-improvement, it's helping me tremendously. Even though I know delayed gratification, you know, like you're not gratifying yourself. You're not getting the satisfaction until later when you, the results. Because the culture now emphasizes pleasure and comfort. In order to grow, we must be in discomfort, continually putting ourselves in uncomfortable situations so that we can learn from it and grow from it. <laughs> and being and having this YouTube channel is one of those situations. But naturally, I'll create the natural temperament to just talk. Because before, I wasn't very good at talking to the camera. But now I sort of, I, I sort of am. So, I want to create a large impact on young men and help them. That's my calling for this YouTube channel, documenting my own journey so others can learn from it and that they can get value from it. So, <laughs> this is why I started this YouTube channel. I hope, I hope it helps.